Dr. Katie Chats here at GenreCon in Guelph, Ontario with actor Robert Maya. How did you transition from being a wrestler into the acting business? Uh, well, I was, uh, there was a friend of mine that was uh, back home in the East Coast, back in Halifax, and I was wrestling back uh, full time. And there was a friend who was a wrestling fan, but he was also a local actor, and he asked me if I could uh, ask to, to go see his uh, the local agent at the time and to see if he thought I could be good in acting since I got the size for it. And which I did. So I got a couple of gigs, uh, a couple of gigs in Halifax. I did Lex and uh, I did Liarocracy, which is kind of a, a comedy from com comedy, uh, the comedy network. And uh, so, so, so I started from there. And then, uh, so I basically used my physicality to uh, intimidate and scare people, I guess, <laughs> in the scene. And then from that, from uh, 300, this was my first feature film. And the way I got the role, there was a local stuntman that was in Montreal, which was all filmed in Montreal. And, and uh, he was trying to look for a, somebody who can play the role of U Uber Immortal, the big mo troll monster in the film. And uh, so he went to a, a local uh, wrestling promoter in Montreal, which I happened to know and worked with, work, worked before. And uh, asked him if he knew anybody. So he gave me my my contacts, my reference to the to the stunt guy. And I got the call the next day. Flew me down to uh, Montreal to do the uh, audition, and then I got uh, got the role. So yeah, so gradually. You know, I did pretty much what I did in 300 was pretty much the same thing. What I would do in wrestling, a lot of fight choreography and stuff, and look mean and scream, <laughs> which, I, which I would do in wrestling. Do you find it difficult to look mean? Uh, You're such a nice guy. Well, I, I mean, can look mean. No, it's, for me it's easy to look mean. I can do the <laughs> face to get you know to get the intention. That's what's the most important. The, the energy and you know, it's a lot of concentration. But no, it's easy for me to look mean. Yeah. And you're very well known for your work in Sherlock Holmes. What was that experience like? That, well, that was cool. That was fun. And it was, uh, I had a very nice role in it. Turned out to be an interesting role for me because they added, uh, at the last minute, they, wanted, they added the French element to me because you know, I grew up in, in, in the Maritimes, I'm French Canadian, so. And I thought it would, would be funny to uh, for me turn into a Frenchman, and uh, so my lines, my dialogue, kind of grew from there, and it made him a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. And working with those, you know, amazing cast, of course, with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law and Rachel McAdams and Guy Ritchie, you know, director, and working in London because it was all shot in England as well. So I mean, it was an amazing experience, and turned out. It was a different role for me from 300 because 300 was all six hours of makeup, you know, so you're unrecognizable. And uh, before Sherlock Holmes, to see my face most of the time. And so it was good for me, a good opportunity for, uh, or, uh, you know, to uh, good exposure, I would say, from the, from that film because the movie did very well. So, yeah. Good. And what is your favorite part about coming to these fan conventions? Meet the fans. Mm -hmm need the fans and I, I, I gotta get my inner geek out as well so it's you know I, I grew up watching sci-fi films mm -hmm. you know all my life and watching Star Trek Star Wars whatever all this uh, science fiction horror films and, mm -hmm. and whatnot and uh, so it's for me so it's, I'm a fan here but also you know it's great I, I've been lucky I have a few films genre films under my belt and you know so I'm always happy to talk to fans about them you know so it's always exciting yeah. And what's the number one question that fans ask you? Uh, number one, well, of course, how how tall uh, how tall I am. <laughs> and yeah. how tall are you? Uh, maybe a little over six ten, I would say. Yeah. Wow. But I I always try to twist, try to play with them as well. <laughs> uh, usually, the one I use a lot is. Uh, 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 are you the tallest one in your family? And I said, no, my, my, my brothers, my family's taller than me. <laughs> so he, he raises a lot of, you know, <laughs> shocked in their face, you know. So did not, anyone pick on you at school? They did, sure. 
actually, I was very shy when I was a kid. I wasn't really, uh, you know, it's very uh, not, not, not outgoing person, but very shy, sheltered, and, you know, afraid to get hurt, I suppose. So I was always picked on, teased on, because I was a little different, you know. I was always taller than kids my age. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so it was, a, you know, it was a bit of an issue, but wrestling really opened for me at my doors. Uh, get my self-esteem out from wrestling because you have no choice but to be in a ring in the middle of thousands of people and millions and on TV. So, uh, so it really helped to be, be basically not uh, not be uh, more comfortable with yourself, really. You know, so it helped me to be on set as well on the, on the film set because on the film set there's a hundred people looking at you, camera crews and directors and. You know, so uh, I'm pretty comfortable being on set because of, because of, of wrestling. And what advice would you give to an aspiring wrestler or actor? Well, just to no, don't give up. You know, it was a struggle for me. It was it was it took a while. I thought it was going to be easy for me to be in the wrestling. You know, being a professional wrestler, but it was not. It was a lot of hard work, and I was just just, just by the good luck. You know, just timing really. That I was ready for that moment, but also that was noticed and you know had my big break. A lot of there's a lot of wrestlers, a lot of talented actors, more, more talented than me, but they never had their shot, never had a big break. So I'm very fortunate that I did. Basically, don't 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 give up. You know, just don't give up your dreams. You know, it will eventually pay off. It will. You know. And where is the best place to find out more information on you online? Uh, Wall Design BD. Of course, I'm listed there, and uh, I do have a Facebook fan, fan, fan site and uh, under my name. So, uh, yeah, I always keep, try to keep up to date and stuff. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Robert. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and congratulations on all of your success, and have a great time at GenreCon. I certainly will. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at GenreCon in Guelph, Ontario.